born did. How many people here have content on Flickr or Blogger or a social networking site? How many people here have content on a site that you didn't make yourself that some business is in charge of? Cool. How many of you have all of that content backed up on your local machine and also feel like you have full control over that content? Cool. So we have an issue. Um, and it's not that hard to solve. <clears throat> so clearly, our, our data is on their sites. We need to be able to control it. Um, making programming to do that is not a big deal. It requires a paradigm shift. This is the design. Uh, there's more specs on the site. It's not coded yet. Looking for people to help. Here's business cards. Um, and please help if you're interested. But continuing on. Uh, you need to be able to, let's see, I'm not a Mac person. Wow, how do I scroll down? Um, continuing. Oh, technical glitch, I'll keep going. Thank you. Uh, you should be able to take an image that you put on Flickr and have it automatically, yay, we're getting closer. Haha. Uh -huh. so, cool. Two fingers. Two fingers. Cool. So let me first hit multi publish. So you want to put your picture on three sites at once? You just put it on three sites at once. I just did this recently with a whole bunch of content, and it was really difficult to do without a program. And it's useful. Uh, synchronize. You tag the photo on Flickr. The tag migrates down to your local machine, gets stored in backup on, on your machine, and then the tag migrates up to some other site or many other sites so that it's tagged there also. It just makes sense. It makes it so that you're leveraging the power of all of these other sites without giving them control over what you're doing with the data, without giving them control. Um, republish. Let's say you have content on 20 sites out there. You slurp it, all of it down to your local machine, have it in a database there, republish it all onto your own website where you can add any look and feel that you want to add to it. All of this stuff is really obvious and it's really not being done and we need to. Continuing, uh, my sweetie, the love of my life, Jackie, started blogging when Blogger first came out and it was wonderful and I kept planning on screen scraping it to like have a copy of the stuff and lo and behold, about three months into her blogging, they lost all of it. And it was early enough in their process where they didn't have backups properly. She emailed them, they said, it's a free account, sorry. Um, we need to make it so that that kind of thing doesn't happen, or it's easy for us to have our own copies of our stuff. Uh, moving a social network is not as hard as people think. Brad Fitzpatrick has a bunch of thoughts on this. There's a, a um, tonight there's a boff on Move My Data and also Brad's going to be saying some of his stuff, which is very cool. And if there's time at the end, I'll go into some second ways to move a social network. Uh, it's on the client. The, it, we want a server version also, but it's on the client and that way even if the end user agreement says you can't take back your own data, screw them, they can't block the client. It's also a terrible PR work for them to try and say that you can't take your own data back. Uh -huh. Doing this will cause massive change. There's a lot of people, a lot, a lot of businesses that are betting on being able to lock your data in one spot and not you being able to do anything. On the other hand, it's going to offer immense business freedom that, uh, where businesses can end up popping up and have, have content from lots of sites. The technology. So there's lots of ways of doing it. The way that we've been thinking, although it depends on who's up for volunteering and helping potentially, is Perl hard. So Perl packaged up. It ends up being 5 meg, which is a little bit big, but continuing content, considering the content we're moving, it's really no big deal. Um, hopefully, uh, WX widgets are possibly tickle. Um, Screen scraping, which is not that hard to do. Template extract, so that when they change their interfaces, we can make a new one quickly and have, have it so that when you go up, um, excuse me, when, you, when, you, when the machine goes to like start the client and snag all the content, if MySpace said, ah, oh, we're going to switch the screen on them, 
we can have the community go and fix it and the new template gets downloaded to make a new screen scraper. Um, synchronization is a hard problem sometimes. At first we do it in a simple way and then we later on get better and better with it. Uh, should be able to put in a client or server like I already said. And actually since there's a second, I'm going to touch some moving social network. So if you, cool. Let's say you're on uh, uh, MySpace and you say, you know, uh, Facebook is getting better or Tribe is just much better. So you move, you pick a few of your move over, move, press one button, your profile moves over. You pick a few friends on the other place, you say who's who and connect three of them, and then it pokes the whole site, uses Spot if they have it, uses their API if they have it, gets a bunch of fuzzy information, and then tries to connect you. Doesn't connect with everybody, but it does a lot. Um, another thing I haven't mentioned, ideally everything is done with microformats. Microformat.org has a lot of microformat information. If there's any information that we're missing that doesn't fit in a perfect microformat information now, then we expand the specs for the microformat. 